Hey guys, it's Mel again. I just wanted to show you how to click on to. Um, someone had asked how to see the screen, and this is one thing I just learned yesterday, and I think this was one of the things that uh, Rebecca showed me as well, and I was so excited. Um, I want She wanted to see how you could do um, see your cuts on here. Like say you're doing a paper piece and you want to see the actual image from the store. So what you would do is, if you're already on your mat thing, you just go to show your library. And then once you see your library, you click down here. See this little box? It looks like a double, like two pages next to each other. You click that and see how I'm highlighted on it now and it says show library and drawing area. You just click that and it's as simple as that and it'll show you um, what you're working on. So say you're cutting... Let's go to something that has paper like this. Say you were cutting her. Um, let's see if it'll work. Oh, I can't get her to go on. There she is. So say you're cutting her. So as you're working with your pieces, let me do one group. So that always scares me when I see all that. So see, like this one piece, you would decide what skin tone you want to use, and you can kind of use her as a guide. And you can always change the colors, like if you want to change her hair ties to purple or green or whatever. But like, just so you could say like, oh, that's blue, and the way they did it was the light blue, the stripes in there. So then you could move that and do the inner pieces, the lighter blue, these ones, the other blue. Another thing I want to show you, this is probably something basic, is to help you while you're trying to set it up on your mat and decide the colors, you can click this little bucket up here that looks like pink up and out and it says open fill cap and to kind of give you an idea and being the fact you want that to be a darker blue you can click that blue and then click this thing here and then you can click that a lighter blue and you can kind of either see what it looks like or just so you know for when you're setting up your paper later and you're doing all your pieces on the mat you can spread them around or if you want to just cut a couple on one mat you could even pull it all the way off so those are just some little things that I learned and I darkened these lines back here to help me see since they're not going to give me a ruler. And it looks like they give you a ruler on the designer studio, the silhouette designer edition, but the ruler is like up here. Like I need right directly like one inch, two inch because I'm still going to have to count even if they're the rulers up there. I don't know why. Even though they have them crosshairs, it's just I'd prefer it right here. So I don't think I'm going to rush yet to get the designer plus I'd like to get this down pat to kind of learn that. but. Um, so yeah, so that's just another thing that will help you to do these colors. So that way when you go to put your, it's like, oh, I need a brown piece here. You count down the squares or whatever to do your layering. And then you can pick, you know, your skin tone or, you know, play with it that way to kind of help you know what paper pieces. Because sometimes when you're looking at these little cuts, you can't see. So again, I'm going to show you really quick. Let's X out of this. And let's just get a new one. So from, from your... From where you're doing your mat, all you want to do is go back over to your, so, um, your show your library, and then go down here to this one that looks like two, um, two pages, and then that'll show you both. And you can just scroll up this way and see down here, you can go across to all your files. These are just some that I picked. Um, so you can go through it this way and find the one you're looking at. And it's going to be small. Someone else mentioned they took a picture of it with their iPhone, which is kind of smart to look at it separately, but just to keep it all on here. And, like, see this? Even though it's not big, that's enough for me to be, you know, be like, oh, they use gold, or how did they do it, and just to get ideas from it there. So I hope this helps somebody, and um, I'll stay tuned. I'll, any more tips that I learn, I'll try to share with you guys. And thank you all for who've been helping me. Thanks. Bye.